look, I'm at a famous place. Yes, it's Finale Liguria. I'm at the NATO base testing this high bike's latest electric bike. It's got a 600 watt hour battery. It's a Yamaha system, a Fox 38 on the front, Fox X2 on the back. Yeah, I'm just about to go and ride some serious trails here. Really put it to its paces. So it's not designed for just cruising around. It's designed to actually do something. High, high bike noticed in their lineup, they were missing a particular category of bike. They wanted to expand their range and expand the range of use of their range and also simplify at the same time. The design language from high bike, including the front and the rear triangle styling techniques, but they've simplified the front triangle. It's full carbon front and back high quality Synthes wheel set, 29er on the front, 27.5 on the back. The thing that's interesting about this though, is the price at 6,100 euro. That's the starting point for some other brands out there. Oh. another bike on the market with this level of specification for that price. This is a very significant product for high bike. The level of integration on this bike is quite high. We have no cables on the external. They all pass internally. We include. We also have a, a cooling system here, so air enters here and keeps the battery colder. They do say that it's seven degrees colder than a normal uh, system with this airflow. Now let's talk about the geometry. Now High Bike have made a significant move here. They've kept that seat tube angle quite vertical and the head angle quite open with a very long reach. This concept means you've got a lot of stability in descents that are aggressive and it's easy to climb. It keeps the wheelbase long, uh, giving stability. The front does not lift up no matter how hard I try. Fox suspension having a 38 uh, millimeter fork on the front changes the way it works. I have to say it gives better resistance and more sensitivity especially in the first part of the stroke of the suspension especially on rough rocky descent. I do not like forks that bind. This 38 is definitely the way to go for heavy electric bikes. I think it's time to leave the 36 behind. <laughs> I will have a test at some point about the motor. All I can say is that it's got the power very similar to a Bosch and it also feels very smooth, especially when you pedal past 25 kilometers an hour. Like the 600 watt hour battery integrates really well into the frame, I have to say. It's very easy to remove. You use a key here and you just pop it out. It's got a nice, uh, smooth, quick and easy to mount cover. No fuss there, really like that. The only thing that I'm not quite so convinced about is the controller. It's quite large. I think Yamaha needs to spend a little bit more time uh, reducing the profile of that controller. Uh, obviously though, it does have a display with basic information. The battery life is pretty good. It's comparable to the rest of the market. So how does it ride downhill? Well, downhill it's fast, it's smooth, uh, it's got a, it gives you a lot of control and it resists very rough rocky terrain. I've ridden in Finale Liguria, it's very rough, very, very hard to uh, maintain a smooth riding style. But this bike is a big bike, it gives you that ability to go fast and float over those difficult sections. Cornering the bike it's easy to find your equilibrium point and you, when you brake, also before a corner, you, you constantly feel ready and set up for what's coming. It's a nice feeling. It's, it's very relaxing, even when the trail might not be relaxing. Climbing then, well, uh, honestly, I found on tight, twisty, rocky, steep climbs, this bike climbs pretty well. Uh, I didn't actually find myself needing to use the top power mode that much. It works very well in the standard power mode. There are five power modes and honestly, staying in standard or using automatic is pretty good and it covers most possibilities. And if you wanna just get a little bit more range, just knock it down to eco, you can go quite a long way, I have to say. I was very impressed with the autonomy of the battery and the system so far during my use. So do 27.5 inch wheels and 29 a mix make a difference? Well, honestly, on the front, I do find the bigger wheel with this type of suspension, 160 mm travel, 
does give you more control. A feeling of floating over stuff. I don't really want to fight with it, especially if the bike is quite a big bike. If it's a lightweight bike, I prefer 27.5. But if it's a big bike like this, I actually prefer the 29er. It does give you a smoother ride. It makes me think a lot about the Cannondale Motera Neo 1 that I tested earlier in the year. It's a bike that rewards you if you ride fast. It's difficult to find the limit. The rider will be the limit, not the bike. So, would I buy one? Yes, I think I would. It's really competitively priced. If you look at the rest of the market, especially some of the big brands out there, for the same price, you're getting their lower end spec bikes. High bike have really drawn a line in the sand, especially for the American market, uh, where often the brand high bike is considered an electric bike. So this would be particularly interesting to the United States, I'm sure. I think this could be the start of prices dropping for what you get for your money. So up till now, the sort of bike e-bikes are expensive. But if this is what you're going to get at 6,000 euro, then I know that prices will drop on the cheaper bikes down the range. And you will be basically looking and getting a much better product for your money uh, and this is definitely a move in the right direction which is going to cause a lot of upset in the market and it's going to really push the other manufacturers to respond to this bike because it's really good for the money. Mm -hmm.